Hey guys, this next video is going to show you uh, a bit more in-depth explanation. Sam's going to give an explanation of what's been done so far on this pickup, so hopefully it's uh, of some interest to you. Got to the tail end of the metal finishing on the chop. We've dialed the chop in, um, finished the metal shaping and the, the metal finishing. Uh, so what happened since last time is off Ryan's rendering we proposed uh, around about a four inch chop we thought would be in proportion. But you never can tell. I think in real world the best idea is to get back. Ryan's got a good eye for, for detail and to dial them in so he just stood back. We ended up taking four inches out of the B pillar and we took four and a half inches out of the A pillar. And obviously because of the taper in the screen, we have to split the roof um, sideways and then split the front and rear of the roof for the pillars to line up. We could have leaned the pillar back, but because of the short roof and the pickup style roof, Ryan and I decided we didn't have the length of the roof to be able to lean uh, the A pillars back like a Salt Lake racer, so we decided not to lean the pillars and modify the cow. Uh, we decided to split the roof and do it that way. So I think we ended up with about a two inch um, piece going widthwise all the way across. They're a little bit different in the rear uh, part of the roof, quite peaky compared to the American cabs. And they've got a seam that runs up under here, which so we had a bit of um, rust to address anyway. So we took advantage of that and took the rear section of the roof completely off. Um, we pie cut it an inch going down to nothing this way to bring the lid down a bit to take a bit of this crown out of the back and then just a, a nice flow um, across the roof skin. Uh, then we realised that in this particular model uh, the pillars were slightly leaning out like a bit of a loaf of bread. So from here to our sideways cut line or widthwise cut line we took half inch uh, span wise from here to our cut, narrowed the front half of the roof and brought the pillars in for a, a nicer look. Thank you. Yeah, so the cab, the cowl was smashed in here, something's hit it hard so I've had to address that which brought it back out and metal finished it. We've had some dents up in the roof here and on the other side something's come down and it's had a hard life. New outer rockers fabricating new inner rockers and stepping up to the floor. All the sub substructure was done by Dale previously, so I'm just attaching to that. And I'll replicate that on the other side. We'll start to move forward to the toe boards uh, and then obviously work out seating position and then work out transmission tunnel. <laughs> and here's the clowns in the circus. How do you cope? That's been good. <laughs> so normally these early 30s Fords came with a cowl vent here, operated from the inside, but because um, real estate's going to be tight on this car with the transmission tunnel being so big, I've decided to delete that, so I've filled that in, and then obviously that'll be nice and smooth and we've got no cowl vent anymore. The positioning um, was one of the key things to think about, or key elements. 
So I stepped the chopper around the rear window so we didn't take the full four inches out. Then aesthetically we thought it was um, best to have an inch and a half out of the window. Uh, we did that and then located the window two inches lower uh, so that when you're sitting in you can see out the back and then obviously it's got a nice balance here it looks in the right spot. So before the weld lines they're obviously all fully TIG welded up, um, planished, metal finished all over. So yeah, it's come up good, it's got a nice profile. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Doesn't matter what I think as long as the owner's happy. So hopefully that's um, giving some insight into uh, what's been happening with the roof chop, which is basically now done. And what we've moved on to now is the rear suspension, which is essentially a just a parallel falling setup. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Just try to be pretty sympathetic to the styling of the car with the cross members and, and all the rest of the chassis work. Uh, so that's pretty much set up ready for final welding. And then we will move on to the front suspension and that'll probably form most of the next part of the video. So check that one out when it comes out and hopefully enjoy.